this is the first time I've told anyone other than Paul that I'm doing this. You are like the first to know. <sighs> My hair has been driving me crazy and that is how I know that it's time to cut it off. <laughs> it's not even that long. In theory, I like it this like, I like how it looks, it's just... I don't like how it feels. <laughs> it makes me always want to pull it, put it up and I just want it to be able to be down all the time. Also Tessie started pulling it and so that is another reason because Tessie is apparently going to be a hair puller for a little bit. For those of you who don't know, Tessie is our two-year-old who is on the autism spectrum. She will be three this summer and it's not actually like she's pulling my hair to pull it usually. It's more like she's pulling my hair for steadiness. Like she'll be on the couch and she'll start falling over and she'll grab onto my hair to pull it to like steady herself because apparently it's the most appealing thing to grab to, to make herself, I don't know, not fall. This is always a little nerve wracking. I don't know, the bottom layer doesn't need to be that much shorter. Okay, the mirror is off to the side here. So that's what I'm looking at. Probably shouldn't start off with anything like too dramatic. Too dramatic because it always ends up being shorter than it starts out. Anyways. Who I really I really need to cut James's hair because he didn't let me cut it last time I cut Patrick's hair. And that boy needs a haircut. James is our four-year-old. He hates haircuts. See, just a trim, just a few inches. But I mean, my hair's already pretty short starting out. He hates haircuts, but he has some crazy uh, cow look thing going on in the back where it's like all of his hair goes down and looks pretty much okay. And then he has like this giant cow look that is coming in, like spinning his hair in 10 different directions. We've got to do something about that. <gasps> There's still a little bit of the hair that I dyed that is still hasn't. I thought I'd cut it all out. I think it would be close to being all out. I haven't dyed my hair in like over a year. surprised there's any left. Okay, I should start cutting from this side down. It's inevitably going to be like one side is much much shorter than the other and then I have to cut it shorter and then the other side's shorter. Back and forth. Trying to figure out what color hair Tessie's gonna have. Because Maggie kinda ooh, yep, that was the shorter. If that was where I went too short. <sighs> because when Maggie and Sadie were little, they both had kind of Tessie colored hair, and Maggie's hair went darker, closer to mine, Sadie's hair got lighter. Which my hair was actually lighter when I was little. So I'm curious now, because Tessie seems like maybe it's getting darker, but it'll probably get lighter in summer again anyways. She definitely has the mischievous little giggle down that Maggie has. The giggle of doing something she knows she's not supposed to be doing that she is going to do anyway. I don't know, I think I'm not gonna touch my bangs right now. I got my bangs. I cut my bangs like probably at least once a month. So I don't cut my hair that often.
top part grows so much faster than the bottom part. It's not even funny. Let's face it, this is really where things have the potential to go so wrong. No, that looked, <laughs> that felt like I was getting a lot off, but it doesn't look that different. Even out the bottom part that I can. There we go. Oh my goodness. In other news, for anyone who's made it this far, um, after years of writing novels that I haven't showed to anybody, I finally decided to start publishing them on Wattpad, because why not? Why should they just be sitting on my computer hard drive with no one reading them? If no one's going to read them, I might as well put them on Wattpad, where at least... I mean, if they're just going to sit there, I might as well let people read them, right? So, I did that. Okay, first off, apparently someone had been using my Wattpad account. That was a little weird, because it had been active. I didn't even know I had a Wattpad account, but it was linked to my other accounts. Um, but yeah, when I went into it, it said it had been regularly active, and no one had ever published anything with it. It was just like it had been regularly used and had notifications and stuff like that. So I changed all the passwords and made it so it was locked down and deleted a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to be following and stuff like that. I mean, it had been active like a few days before, so I knew it wasn't me. It wasn't like a long time, like a long time ago or anything. And then I set it up and I started publishing one of my completed novels. I like to write fantasy novels, so it's not like it's autism stuff right now or anything like that. Totally unrelated to my channel. But yeah, I'll probably put my information down below with my other information, just in case anyone's actually interested in fantasy novels that involve dragons and all that stuff because I'm a nerd and ever since I was a little kid that's what I've loved reading, writing. Also, if anyone else is on Wattpad, you can totally let me know because I'm looking for and you're, well, probably particularly if you're in the fantasy genre because that's what I like to read. Or just if you're on there. But yeah, especially if you're in that genre. That is my favorite. Yay! 
likes. Try not to make a mess. I have a towel here just in case, but. I always end up finding spare pieces, stray pieces that I fix, like, for the next week until it's perfectly the way I want it. I don't know. Usually I trim this part more and get it a little bit more, less puffy, more thinned out, I think. But I also think I've cut off a good amount today. I'm just getting more confident with this whole thing. Actually, I can't say that my novel is completely not without autism because there is a character that I based on when I imagined Maggie being like, well, when I imagined Maggie being like a couple of years ago when I wrote the story, in my story. So. Because I kind of wanted there to be that was kind of part of it when I wrote this particular novel. I wanted there to be just a character that... I wanted there to be a cool heroic character that was on the spectrum. And so that was part of what I was trying to do. That was part of what I was imagining when I wrote this story. And it is a big story. It's like, I think it was 90,000 words after I edited out like 20,000 words. But only four chapters of it are up right now. I'm, chap I'm publishing three chapters a week until the whole thing is up. And this is the first time I've told anyone other than Paul that I'm doing this. You are like the first to know. There we go, there's a few inches off. So there is my after. Anyways, that is it for today. If you like this video, I'd love it if you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you're interested in all things autism, I'd love it if you hit subscribe. And if you're over on Wattpad, I would love to hear from you. Because, yeah, I'm kind of interested in making friends over there and finding other writers and readers and basically anyone who's over there. So that is it for today.